desperate times. It's small relief from the drought, but for Somaratna Fernando, he has no other choice. He can't drink the water in his home. It's too salty. Water levels in rivers have fallen so low that seawater is flowing inland and contaminating supplies here in the Kalathara district, south of the capital, Colombo. Yes, so that's, now this, this looks like pure water, but if the color is no change, but cannot be drunk, that's the problem. More than 200,000 people are affected. We don't have any water to drink. The water is very salty, it irritates my skin. When supplies do arrive, people try to collect as much as possible. The lack of rain last year is badly affecting water supplies. Tens of thousands of households have no water to drink and rely on bowsers like this one. With rains not expected for another two to three months, the government is warning of worsening shortages. Reservoirs are running low. Some are now down to a fifth of their capacity. Weather forecasters say there could be worse to come. This drought is well agriculturally and also, well, uh, hydro, hydropower generation. Well, this is one of the worst droughts since 1970s. Farmers have been badly hit. They've only managed to plant a third of the usual 800,000 hectares of paddy for rice, the lowest in 30 years. There are disturbing signs that up to half of these crops will also fail. And the next planting season is also in jeopardy. All our paddy was destroyed. We don't have a way to survive. And now we don't even have water to drink. The farming community says it doesn't know how it will cope with no water, destroyed crops and mounting deaths. The government is preparing for food shortages and rising prices. A task force has been set up to deal with the crisis. I will take care of the details, but make sure, in keeping with the decision of the task force, that we do not allow shortages of food to occur. Some light rain is expected over the next few days, but the Med Department says it won't be enough to make any difference. Minel Fernandez, Al Jazeera, Kalutara, Sri Lanka.